guys, welcome back to Bruno's Math Club. Today's topic is subtracting money. Now today I'm just going to be using a word problem to show you guys how we can use money in our everyday lives and how we subtract money also, okay? So as you can see up on the board, I have a word problem that says Jessica has $22.50. She spends $14.98 on a shirt. How much money does she have left? So according to the keyword left, we know that we have to subtract to find out how much she gets as her change, okay? And according to that, step one says align the decimal points. So now if I write my money down, she had a total of $22.50. Here is my decimal point. Now I have to align it to the $14.98. That means the decimal points are right underneath each other. And now I'm going to write it down and put my subtraction sign. And next step says subtract numbers vertically, which means up and down. So first I have eight subtracted from zero. We cannot take away eight from zero, so we're gonna have to borrow one from the five and make that a 10, and the five now becomes a four. 10 minus eight is two. We can't subtract nine from four, so we're gonna have to borrow one from the two. The two becomes a one, and the four becomes a 14. 14 minus nine is five. Bring down the decimal point just as it is, now we can't subtract four from one, so we're gonna have to borrow one from the two to make that the two a one and the one an eleven. So eleven minus four is seven, and one minus one is zero, and bring down the dollar sign, and you get your difference of seven dollars and fifty-two cents. That means Jessica gets seven dollars and fifty-two cents back as her change. So that's how you subtract money. Now I hope you guys understood the purpose for this video, which was that in everyday lives we go shopping or we go to a grocery store to buy things, and we use money. So math, math is pretty much everywhere. Okay, so next time you guys purchase something, keep that in mind. And um, if you want to find extra practice problems on this topic or for the coming up topics, please feel free to visit our blog at brownsismackup.com, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.